Hey everyone, welcome back to Played Up, and today we automate everything. There's been some changes since the last video, so let me catch you up. First, on overtime day 16, I took pumpkin seeds, which meant that I have another option for a starter, but we'll have to make room to prepare it. This wasn't too hard as I had hoarded the equipment necessary to make it automatic right away. Next, on OT25, I had to take affogato. Not a huge deal as I was already serving coffee as a dessert, and again, the hoarding came in handy as I had everything I needed to automate it. The trouble began on OT31, where I had to pick between pumpkin soup or taking larger groups. I didn't have a single square left in my restaurant to automate pumpkin soup, so the choice was clear, but it was not easy. Taking large groups meant that I was now serving tables of 6 customers, and my restaurant could not fit this in its current state, so I had to rework the layout entirely. This catches us up to today, where we continue our story. So, if you like the video, subscribe, and come say hi over on Twitch, where I'm live Mondays to Fridays, almost all day. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Not worth the hundred. Actually, mini golf would be sick. And the and, and the our, our partners don't really love mini golf. I've taken Tegan. She's like okay. She has like fine time. She just likes hanging out. You know, run it. An escape room. I um, I have some bad takes on escape rooms. I don't really enjoy them. Now, the only reason I don't enjoy them is because I don't really enjoy puzzles in general. I find them more frustrating than anything. One, two, one more. I don't know. And I, I've never gotten the hype of an escape room. It's like you're stuck in a box the whole time. I'd be down for like a rage room. Maybe we can do that. A rage room instead of the escape room. Like where we can go smash it. That'd be kind of cool. Axe throwing. Axe throwing is the biggest ripoff ever. I've actually done axe throwing with some of the guys who are going to be hanging out. And it was $80 to throw fucking axes at plywood. And it wasn't even like particularly cool. It was just spray painted plywood. I can make that at, at my house. And go to Canadian Tire, which is our version of like Walmart. And get a couple of like crappy axes and throw them. How about a paint and sip? Um, though the girls would be too mad that they weren't allowed to come to the paint and sip. If we do that, they would be pissed. <laughs> the ranger's $15 an hour a person. Oh no, it's so messed up here. How expensive axe throwing is. I, I was actually shook by how much it was. And I didn't really know the cost until like after we had already, you know, finished throwing our axes. Holy crap. One more about to Google axe throwing prices. Let me know. I, I want to know if I'm getting rinsed on that one. Trust me, just play played up with them and you, you can enjoy a fun thing with friends. Um, we have a really weird mixed bag of dudes in our group. So two of them never play any video games. They haven't played a video game since like the Nintendo 64. So, and then there's two hard, like big gamers who game almost every single day, you know, guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is one guy who is familiar with games but doesn't really have that doesn't really play a lot of them anymore but does enjoy the, the odd game so it's just like you know when we play video games i fucking i run the show dude it's not even close like the only thing i suck at is mario kart and i'm really bad at mario kart so i'm thinking we do some like jackbox maybe but then that doesn't feel like that's a good use of a sunny Saturday. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be beautiful this weekend. So I almost want to like get out of the house and do something. I'm stuck. I'm really stuck as to what to do here. Open chef. Open chef is, op is on guys. Not daytime. Teach them how to play plate up. Burial cart. Burial cart would be a good idea actually. Hmm, you guys don't see names? Everyone try exclamation. Where's my customers? Try exclamation mark visit and see if it. Yeah, see, there's names. Just chat didn't know to exclamation mark visit. So that's why we got a bunch of NPCs now. You guys can even order. Ordering is on. There we go. Just a little miscommunication. I had the wrong hours posted on Google, so then people showed up at the wrong time. Um. 
drop acid that's a good time we don't most of well we don't one of our buddies doesn't doesn't even like drink and i barely drink too i have like one beer maybe with dinner and that's usually like i'm set we're pretty lame dude, guys we're pretty lame but we're good we're all good pals we all went to uni together all did the same program so um we we just are all, all on the same wavelength which is really fun so yeah so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do mini golf right now is sounding like the best option though that is a pretty good suggestion mini golf who's someone said birio card i'd be down for birio card too go always go to a garden that's fun depending on time of year uh it would be a hard sell guys do you want to go walk around a garden together hold hands just a couple of dudes i i'm a little too adhd to enjoy that personally like uh i need more stimulation otherwise i'll just go nuts i'll start like touching everything pulling plants out prodding them there's a gun range we can go to, but it'll be 200 bucks a person. Doesn't that seem kind of steep, chat? And now I know what you're going to say. You're going to be like, Gavin, I'm an American. I can go to my backyard and shoot my guns. Like, I don't got to pay no no city slicker to rent their rifles. Okay? But that's that's just the, the only option we have here in Canada if we don't own a firearm yourself. It'll be like two hours for 200 bucks. Casino? Do I have casinos, Mary? Yeah, we got casinos. Um, but I'm gonna lose so much money. I have so bad luck at the casino. <laughs> I've never won. I I think I'm done with casinos, man. I, the last time I went, I lost 20 bucks in like 10 minutes, and I was like, eh, "This sucks." I went right back up to the hotel room. <laughs> 200 person with rental because that's pretty steep. No, no, 200 bucks all in by the time you've done the gun range. 200 bucks is like. A little bit of shooting, um, renting guns, having a good variety of like different stuff to try is sort of what I expect at that price. But some of the guns, it, you, you get charged based on what you're shooting. And some of the guns are like five bucks a bullet. Obviously, those are, like the big 50 cal. But even shotguns are like 12 bucks for six rounds or something like that. I don't know. Pretty horrendous. Doesn't seem like a good use of money. If I, I guess, like, okay, let's, let's do a little, whoa, so par gaming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the stream. Holy, we could barbecue. So we, we are going to probably end up barbecuing. Thank you so much. So par chat. Can you guys please put a, oh, type in the word gaming into your emoji search bar and whatever comes up as the emoji for gaming, put that. That's still pretty steep. Those ammo prices sound a little steep. Oh, it's messed up, Rage Gaming. Wait, Rage, are you Canadian? Yeah, there's all the gaming. Um, So we're definitely going to barbecue. One of my buddies, I don't know. He bought like... He, it's, so the people who live at his house is his... Not... Uh, is is him and his, his partner. And they barely eat meat. They eat meat like once a week, right? He bought... I think 50 bison burgers from Costco. And, and he's like, yo, I, I can't wait, guys. We're going to grill them. I can't wait. I just got this new barbecue. And so we're like really hyped for him. We're like, hell yeah, man. We're going to come over and look at this barbecue. We went over the last week and we barbecued at his place. Dude, his barbecue is like, I don't even know if we can call it a barbecue, man. It's It, it fits only four chicken breasts at a time. It's small. It's like really little. I'd almost do better cooking on my stove with like a pan. So I don't know how the hell he's going to get through 40 <laughs> burgers. <laughs> he's so excited about it, though. So I would, I'm would i not going to talk shit through about his barbecue. <laughs> you know what's so funny? It's the same size as my barbecue that he told me was too dinky and little. It's the same fucking barbecue, except that his is the newer version and it comes on a stand. Okay, mine has to sit on a table. <laughs> So he's talking shit out of nowhere. It's not about how big it is, how you use it. Oh, trust me. I know that. 
Can I get an amen? <laughs> um, are we gonna go nine here? I doubt it. I could do plant to give me more uh patience in my dining room, but I would have to drop my extra pots. Maybe not. Just do a sign. How's it going, by the way, David and bowling? Um, so yeah, so we're definitely gonna do a little bit of barbecue, uh, either this weekend or next weekend. <coughs> Plant where the BC is. What is a BC? We don't want nine under nine, right? Sorry, what's BC? Oh, blueprint cabinet. Yeah, but then I lose blueprint cabinet. If you rework the pork in your plan, you get some bonus space. Right. We had some crazy um builds from last time, didn't we? Stars and strikes is good. A bowling alley mixed with an arcade. Oh, yeah, we got one of those too. We're big arcade boys. Like we we uh we enjoy playing pool, right? If we're out late, uh, we don't really, you know, we, we, we won't go to a bar, but we might go to like a pool hall together. Neon sign. I'm just thinking whether I even want nine. I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, we'll just run it. So anyways, so that's that's my predicament this coming weekend. Uh, Trying to do a guy's day. It's been so long since I have done a guy's day, guy, uh, my friends. I was actually telling Tegan, my, my partner, my fiance, how... It's very bizarre that I'm going to go out on a Saturday and then she's not going to hang out with me. I'm a bit of a homebody now. And by when I say a bit of a homebody, I'm a huge homebody. Corn can be replaced. I cannot throw it away. I feel like 99 is only good with one person serves. Um, I have yet to figure out how I like playing 99 uh, decorations on this game. For, for at least, uh, what is this? Affordable? Hmm, grab this. Really, that's sad? Is it sad that I hang out with my, my fiancé that much? No, man, me and my fiancé are, like, best friends. When I, when I think about, like, uh, you know, this is a good thing. Sorry, uh, this is about to be very... <laughs> feel strong, man, but, uh... When I think about who I want to hang out with, it's always her first. Every time. At least I have friends. Yeah, me. T I have Tegan. Then I have Frida, Van Gogh, and Arlo. My best friends. Holy. So par. Me, Frida, Van Gogh, Arlo, and parasocially, so par gaming. My god. Oh, and chat, of course. So par, thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs. Holy shit. Chat, please. Okay, get ready. This is going to be a very complicated demand. And I'm, I, I want us all to listen in closely. Put the gaming emoji plus a pog in chat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so far. This serve is dedicated to you. I know very complicated orders, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a dictator when it comes to chat interaction in the sense that if you don't comply, you don't get served food. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so far. That's so kind of you. Seriously, I, I, I'm genuinely so appreciative. Oh. Uh, garbage, nice. Holy smokes, thank you so much. Wow, that is crazy. Now chat. Uh, thank you, this goes here. Thank you, this goes here. Please, and dude, scale of 1 to 10. 10 is the most delicious soup imaginable. 1 is, it's it's worse than drinking your grandmother's bath water. What are we feeling on tomato soup? As a dish, IRL. Not cooking in plate up. 
Oh man, Tegan's grandma stayed over the other night and Arlo stole a pair of her underwear and Tegan grabbed it and chased me around our house with it. It was so fucked up. <laughs> I was actually terrified for my life. <laughs> At first I was like, what is that on the ground? It's like, oh, wow, it looks like a, like, I, I can't even tell what it is, right? Oh crap. And then to my horror, I was the victim of an assault in my own home, attacked by the person I trusted the most. Seven and a half for tomato soup. I think is tomatoes. Okay. If, if I said, Hey man, do you want some tomato soup? And then instead I gave you minestrone soup. Would you be upset? I actually order. I never get either of the two. So I always equate them to each other. Like they're brothers and sisters. What's minestrone? Uh, it's the free soup you might get with your sandwich or entree at like an Italian place, but probably like an Olive Garden more likely. No, because you can actually eat minestrone. W what is minestrone actually? We should ask an Italian. Any, any Italians here? What's in it? We don't know yet. Someone will explain to us. Surely. You'd be confused and wonder if I was new if I gave you a minestrone instead of tomato soup? Really? But would you send it back? Or are you like, hell yeah. Is, is it like finding a curly fry in your normal order of fries? Where you say nothing and then you hope that, you know, you can get away with such a, such a devious lick? <laughs> you guys can't visit again? Cap. You can definitely visit. It's just that, okay, guys, the way visit works is that everyone gets one individual. Your individual, once they've eaten once in the restaurant, cannot come back in, right? Until the next day. So what's happening is that we actually have so many customers that no matter, even though that Twitch chat is exclamation mark visiting, we are running through everyone in the queue and these are NPCs. So it requires new people to exclamation mark visit. That's why push and digital prints are here now because they just went an exclamation mark visit. So we are just like, at, this is, um, this is like classic peak late game played up. This is when it goes kind of crazy, right? Cause you're dealing with such a high volume of customers. Thank you. Thank you. Drop these two here. Get everyone out. Oh, are we going to have a coffee table? We are. Holy moly. Dude, look at this serve. It's actually crazy. So what you're saying is you have to become more popular to have names the whole shift. I would love one day to serve like 500 customers a day in plate up and have every one of them with the name over their head. That would be so cool. Do you guys know what interesting statistic? Um, so in... In like the Twitch creator con creator dashboard, right? So like the behind the scenes area that I get to see, there's little achievements you can do that unlock more VIP slots. I've done all of them except for one. The last one to do is to get a hundred people chatting at the same time, which is wild because we regularly have over a hundred chatters or like, or a hundred, a hundred people in chat at least, but it has to be at the same like instance. Take care bowling. Have a good time. So if everyone did visit right now, it would get me there. If everyone just went pog at once, it would get us there. But I've even had like a hundred, like 400 person raid with stands and it still didn't pop. So I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> there ain't no way. If we unlock the hundred people right here, right now, chat, I will give out those 25 VIPs for 24 hours. I'll give out 25 brand new VIPs if it pops. I'll check tomorrow, but you'll get it for only one day. It's just, I don't know.
Oh my god, bad. We can't go carrot soup. We have to go all you can eat. So now we have large groups, all you can eat, three courses. So six courses a table, potentially. We need to high roll every single one of these here. If you said uh, carrot soup, I want you to now put an unhappy face in chat. It is never carrot soup and you are trolling. It's this. Thank you. Um, do I want anything anymore in shops? <clears throat> now, if you wanted all you can eat, please. Uh, Pog again. <laughs> It's never carrot soup because it's minestrone. <laughs> Let me see here. I don't know how to improve this build. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to play reactionary. Maybe I'll do a little bit of rolling and just see what we get. I have 3,000 bucks, right? Might as well use it. Dishwasher, kitchen floor. Like, do I even care about any of this, guys? I kind of want to get a uh, sharp cutlery. Hey, sharp cutlery. Would it be worth carrot soup if you had just the extra tech to automate it just sitting around? No, because I'd have to break down um, research or break down coffee tables. So these are way too valuable. Did I sort what the enhancement mod messed up? Yeah. I restarted the game today and it seems to have helped solve the problem. Maybe this goes here. Holy... Does anyone see a spot I can put? Oh, I can do this for one turn. Put this here. This goes here. Oh God. Wait, I think that actually works. Let me see, practice mode. I think I can still slide in through there. Oh, what a line. Dude, tell me that's the sh movement right there. That's gotta be. Rework pork and you're chilling with space. David, do you promise me? Okay. No, we're good. This is good for at least one more turn. Run it. Thank you. All right, exclamation mark visit. Um, for every person that types in your credit card, I will ring once on the phone. <laughs> oh, I see one. There we go. gonna go ahead and save that one for later hey if anyone wants to gift some subs right now using that <laughs> oh there's another one uh this guy's actually crazy it's ot 37 and he just called with all he can eat pov uh, gavin threw for the laugh for the meme i don't know if that was worth it watch them they order starters again holy Oh my god, they ordered that again, though. Dude, look, I'm serving two tables at once. Oh! Where's all my apples? All right, no more calling, guys. Sorry. No, 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 no. I don't want your Amexes anymore. I don't want your anything you keep it i can't call any more people in wow this setup is so good for crackling now okay maybe one more call because i did see someone poster oh maybe not do you think they can only reorder mains no they can order starters they can order any course again Watch, here's starter round one. 
Wait, can they only order mains? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it, it's any course. That's what the card says, at least. In fact, I'm so sure that it's they can reorder any course again. That if I'm wrong, I will VIP Maiko. That's right. I might need more plates soon. I actually might need more plates soon. Good point. Well, the only reason why we're running out of plates is because I kind of memed around, but I just don't do that again and it should be fine. Gavin, can I fix the egg over the coin icon? It's off center and annoys you a lot. Hey, here's the double starter order. I can, there you go. One ring. One, two. No problem, Niana. Anything for you. I would do anything for chat. Do you guys want me to lie for you, um, you know, as a reference on your resume? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, you know, High Above Me definitely worked for its GNG Enterprises. And they were an integral part of the team. Oh, yeah. And by the way, they do speak four languages. I'm not sure which ones, as I can only speak English. So they never, it never came up, but... Yeah, I, I would believe it if it's on the resume. It did come up a couple times in in casual conversation. And they were never late. Anyone else need me to lie for them? Sorry, I actually did know where Large Mike was on the evening of April 9th. They were most certainly not at the ravine. Yeah, I don't even know how that body got there. And I'm sure they don't know either. They were with me. Officer. Now, if you're not following the stream, I'm not lying for you. Sorry. No, not even sorry. Them's the brakes. Can you lie and promise me I'll find someone who truly loves, <laughs> loves me? <laughs> Sikra, you'll find someone who truly loves you. Don't worry. You want to lie? Kyle needs a lie? Uh, Kyle is actually not British. Yep. He is, uh, he, he is, he is not British at all. It's crazy that you have that thought. Holy starters. Wait, suit me badly. Uh, we need to abs at the end of today don't forget okay big abs big abs soup no soup over here and it's gonna go around again there we go I kind of want a blueprint cabinet. Dude, I have sharp cutlery. I haven't been using it at all. What am I doing? So uh, for those who have never seen sharp cutlery, it's actually a very interesting item. You can pick one up and place it on a table and it halves eating time. So this is great when you take leisurely, when you're forced to take leisurely eating or even for all you can eat, it's very, very good. You get double value on both ends. So next turn, remind me that you all want forks and knives, okay? Oh man, chat, you go let's say uh you go to a restaurant that serves like a crawfish boil. The crawfish boil comes in a bag and gets dumped directly on the ABS! Oh. oh thank god. We actually have soup. Okay. Uh the crawfish boil gets dumped on the table uh, everywhere. It's from a, like a plastic bag, but then they hand you a fork and knife. Do, you get no gloves. Are you the type to get down and dirty? Fingers in all the sauce, eaten, uh, going crazy? Or do you use the fork and knife? Mirror dog, how's it going? I've never been to a crawfish boil. I've never had one. That is one thing on my bucket list. It's like, 
desperately desperately would love to go to one open it the, if, if you are ever at a crawfish boy and like damn we need one more person to come pull some weight you know who should call up it's gng i'm in large mike gets primal <laughs> fork and knife but you also eat fries with a fork and knife my grandpa eats pizza with a fork and knife or like with he likes uh he actually likes a knife and chopsticks because like he's an old asian guy so he's just only likes to use chopsticks but he does like slice his pizza into bites i live in louisiana you just go in but i wear gloves because you don't like your fingers to get stained mm. what do crawfish taste like shrimp right it's 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 got to be like bang on one or the other at least you don't put ketchup on your pizza no that's disgusting come on you already have so much tomato on a pizza you've been getting tiktoks from a crawfish farm recently dude cran good to see you cran i enjoyed the stream today cran i guess we just run this crawfish is even is crawfish better than shrimp could get rid of danger hop for a space uh i need danger hop though I probably don't need safety hob because I could always break down this in <sighs> do I need danger hob or safety am I more likely to get another side I think they're in the shrimp lobster area but better than both whoa crawfish are better than lobster are you sure about that one crawfish over lobster then why are crawfish so, so much cheaper than lobster? Gav, you beat the solo four-player difficulty in E8 challenge today. Let's go. Because they're smaller. But if they're tastier, wouldn't... I, I don't know if I believe you that they're better tasting than lobster, guys. Sharp Cutlery, thank you so much. Van, uh, Van you are the MVC for today. Most valuable chatter. Philip, how's it going, Philip? Ain't no way that crawfish are truly are better than than lobster. In Germany, you say Norkel. Norky? What's what's Norky in Germany? What is like uh, a good pickup line in German, Mahan. Have I ever had frog legs? No. The craziest food I've ever eaten is like escargot, which is I don't think is that crazy. It was all just butter. And then like of course I have like ethnic Chinese food that maybe you're not familiar with. So like jellyfish is it was a weird one for my girlfriend to eat. Um, like beef tripe, but that's not that crazy. Oh, that's a, it's a slur. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, uh, that's, that's tough for me then, huh? I'm getting canceled now. Uh, it was a good run, eh? What? There we go. Throw that away. What is lobster like? You've never had the opportunity to try it. Um, big shrimp, big shrimpin. very very big shrimp that's like all the reasons why you'd like shrimp you'd like lobster because it's even easier to eat right let me grab this 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 what what else like how do you describe a food without comparing it to another food you know that's why everyone says oh you know alligator tastes just like chicken this tastes just like chicken it's because trying to describe something of the senses is so abstract. How does jellyfish taste? Jellyfish is cold, crunchy jello. When you crunch it, it breaks like chicken cartilage. But, um, but it's like refreshing. It's served cold. Don't be yucking my yum. I love the, I love the jellyfish. When I go to dim sum, that's one of my favorite things to get. It's a little spicy. It's served a little spicy. No, don't be yucking my yum. Oh, we got more cutlery. Hold up.
That sounds gross, but you do you. No, no, it's good. Don't yuck my... It's so... One in chat, if you have had jellyfish and you're like, Gavin, you're on to something. It's delish. You'll help me out here. There's got to be a couple of... A couple of dim sum enjoyers. What? Jellyfish, super good appetizer. Kibitz, thank you. Is it squid-like? No. Not squid-like at all. Squid is very chewy, right? Um, squid is like calamari. It's particularly chewy. It's like gummy if not done right. Duty's crazy. Calls on OT38. This guy's nuts. Jellyfish and bone marrow. Two things I didn't think I'd like but do. I've not had bone marrow like on bread yet. Because I want to make it myself. Chinese know how to eat good. Tony, you you eat you're, you're Chinese, Tony? I wonder if there's other cultures that eat jellyfish. I've only ever seen it in Chinese restaurants. But, you know, it's too good to not everyone be eating this. People eat bone marrow. Dude, you can go any steakhouse worth their salt now has bone marrow on the on the uh on the menu. Like, it's probably I would say it's it's gotta be like fairly commonplace, right? Bone marrow is hella tasty. Yeah, there you go. It's like uh Bone marrow is basically meat butter. That's exactly how it ends up going. You you spread it on a piece of like toast, crostini. Now that's delish. Miller, how's it going? You gotta suck the marrow straight from the bone. Uh, I do, but then, you know it. When you're in a restaurant given sloppy toppy, or at least it sounds like it, it doesn't really bode well for a date. So I've learned to restrain myself. Now I just give neat toppy. <laughs> Shmoo said, Gavin, I'm in. I totally understand what you mean. And they just followed the stream. Thanks so much for the follow. <laughs> You just tap for a second repeat? No, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna have to hope that someone clipped it. Otherwise, it's lost to the sands of time. <laughs> lamb bone marrow is the best. I'm not a huge fan of lamb. Lamb tastes like a locker room smells to me. I'll eat it because I know it's met, it's like supposed to be good but it's so funky it tastes like a barn to me like it tastes like how animal feed smells am i crazy anyone else game it's like i don't even know if it's gamey it's just funky now of course the new zealander you know loves lamb that's what new zealand is famous for right but for me, I've tried. I keep trying over and over and over. Lamb with mint. I that was the first way I've ever had it. But it's it's kind of uncommon to see lamb served with mint now. I feel like it. Yeah, I really don't see it too often. Lamb with fig sauce. Ooh, that would be good. New Zealand also known for their beef. Are they? New Zealand beef? What's the New Zealand breed of cow that's so famous for their beef? Like, you know, USA has Angus. Uh, Jap Japan has Wagyu. What's the beef one? It's the pastures? They do have very green pastures. I just think New Zealand is a gorgeous country in general. Like, you know, if you were to drop a random dot anywhere in around the world, New Zealand's a fairly safe bet to have a gorgeous, uh, like, landscape. Well, I bet no other country has maple syrup like us in ca uh, Canada. Well, that's actually unfortunately not true. Anything along the same latitude will have maple syrup. But we are most famous for it in Canada. New Zealand has tons of milk production as well. I did not know that. And also, like, Middle Earth. 
Can't get that anywhere else. Let me see here. I need to incorporate one more plates. How do I get one more plates in this mix? New Zealand is also one of the number one countries for baby formula. So um, in Hong Kong, when we visited our relatives, we brought them all baby formula. Like that was a like, huge as a thank you because it was uh, basically like baby formula in China and Hong Kong has a very bad reputation. So they highly value North American baby formula because there was like, you know, just a small incident of uh, like poison or like lead in the formula that messed a lot of babies up briefly. Oh, yeah. So 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 when we brought them Canadian baby formula, they're like, holy shit, this is awesome. Uh, what am I going to do here? Plates? Where can these go? If you take one main dish too much, where do I put the clean dish? I put it in this garbage. But even if I take an extra main, I can set it down here on Apple. Or I can just wait to serve because someone will definitely want it. I don't have high variety. So it's not like they have much options besides ordering pork or pork apple. Once you lose that market confidence, hard to get back. I mean, that's why it's illegal to mess with... It's extremely illegal to mess with uh, packaged foods in supermarkets in the United States, right? Because we have that Tylenol poisoner. And that's why, like, the TikTok trend of people licking ice cream and putting it back... Dude, that's a felony. They are going to prison. All right, run it. Talk about the game. I can't believe how easy it is to get through these rounds because of the big... Is it because of the big tables? Uh, No, it's because of the high automation. So, like, I don't even do any cooking anymore, right? I'm just placing things down now. I'm basically, like, playing the kitty version of matching cards. You know, flip one card over, flip another one, hope they match. So, like, I just match colors. So, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, you know, lucky that, not lucky. We're, we're very, I'm glad we took the time to build properly. Because now we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Looking ice cream, putting it back, you would finish it right then and there. Ooh, man. Last night, guys, I had uh, Dairy Queen for the first time in, like, years. Holy. So nostalgic. Dairy Queen might have, might be one of the greatest American exports. I think it's criminally underrated, too. Dairy Queen's got good burgers. It's got good fries. It's got good, um, good chicken strips. Dairy Queen goes hard. I will stand for no slander of, of the franchise, of the brand. And it's kind of cheap still. Honestly, miss being able to lurk. Let's go. Dairy Queen burgers are surprisingly good. Fries are mid. I think Burger King in general, or sorry, Dairy Queen in general is, is great. Like, they don't really have any stinkers. The only gripe I have with them is that one blizzard, I got a medium-sized blizzard, and it was $8 in Canada. I think that's a little expensive. I get a whole tub of ice cream for that much. But I still got it because I was craving it so badly. And uh, it was a nice pick-me-up yesterday. Then got ripped off. Wait, how much is it? No, no, no. Dude, you think I got ripped off? If you, if you go get a blizzard too, it's going to be just as expensive. They, they, Dairy Queen has the monopoly on desserts like fast food dessert in canada no one else is in their lane at least here in in the states you guys have baskin robbins you guys have dunkin donuts dude i'm lucky to see like one baskin robbins in the entirety of vancouver and i don't even know if we have a dunkin donuts i'm pretty sure we don't we have one Krispy Kreme in the in like entire western canada dunkin's not even a dessert place dude shows you what i know right a and w root beer floats but if you don't like root beer, then you don't like A&W root beer floats. You don't have another alternative. If I don't like blizzards at Dairy Queen, don't worry. I can get a banana split. I can get a peanut butter parfait. I can get a sundae. I can get a dipped cone. Like, if I'm craving dessert, your options are Dairy Queen. McFlurries? McDonald's doesn't even... I don't even think they serve sundaes anymore. But... It, it's just not even close. Like, you're comparing a singular menu item to the entirety of the menu at Dairy Queen. Here in Maine, Duncan is ubiquitous. They are on every corner, you swear. Oh, man. I, uh, I'm always blown away at the serving size of Duncan. 
when I watch TikToks and someone's like, I got this, my, my coffee from Duncan and it's two liters of iced coffee, you know, 90% of it is milk and syrup. I'm like, how are you starting your morning like that? That's a lot. I could get down if like, you're like, oh, I'm going to drink this throughout the day and like, I'll just let it dilute and I don't really mind. Sure. I can get down for that argument. Does McDonald's have poutine in BC? They do. They do. It's okay. So yeah, there's, there's just like no other options for like a dessert, um, dessert franchise here in, in Canada. Now we do of course have like bubble tea franchises now. And what's like big in the Vancouver area. Cause we have such a high Asian population is Bingsu. So like the Korean shaved ice dessert, people like they go crazy. About it. There's a Bingsu spot on every single corner, but I think it's a trend. I don't think it's going to be here for a long time. I bet in five, 10 years, we will not see that many more Bingsu places. And of course there's like bubble tea, right? But bubble tea is not exactly the same demographic I'm talking about, right? You're not going to get like everyone down for bubble tea. It, there's a little bit of a learning curve to it for a lot of customers. It's not as common as soft serve ice cream, not as familiar. Wait, some, someone said that a blizzard is 409 for a medium blizzard. Now that's a good deal in Michigan. Crushed ice better than Sundays. I love Bingsu. I, I, but I, it's just, uh, it's, it's not a quick food. Like you go get Bingsu, you're sitting there for, you know, an hour having your dessert, which is fine. But Dairy Queen is fast food. You sit down, you grab it at the counter. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, you're up and out On to the next adventure. I mean, one Chinese place sells smoothies with boba in them and you will sell my soul for one. That's a great introduction to boba. Yeah. Totally. A familiar flavor with a different texture. Yeah. When you have a friend who tried bubble tea for the first time, they always hate it. You have to explain what it is. Otherwise, it's, you know, a bunch of balls in the mouth. And that's always a bit of a, that can always be a bit of a surprise. Thai tea. Thai tea is great too. I love Thai tea. Kyle, take care. Have a wonderful evening, man. Don't kink shame. <laughs> hey, I have no problem with balls in my in my mouth, but I just want it a little heads up beforehand. Okay. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Demonetized YouTube run. <laughs> That's okay. As long as I don't say the F word more than eight times in seven or eight minutes, it should be okay. So I'm done. I've used all my cursing uh, aloud for the day. Rip. And I don't curse anyways. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't, I actually think I don't curse too much. I think I have more colorful language and I, tend to use more descriptive words than just cursing which i think is a bonus i think that's great i don't like listening to streamers who are dropping like you know curse word here like f this oh bitch that I'm like come on man it feels like i'm back in high school but i could get down for some colorful insults <laughs> Being called a poutine idiot st kind of starts to hurt. <laughs> that's a great insult. A poutine idiot. Damn. That, that's like layered, dude. Holy, I'm going to keep that one in my back pocket. Then I'm gonna drop it one day, like you just like I'll pretend like I've never learned it from anywhere else. You're gonna go, holy hell, Gavin! How'd you think of that one? Oh, yeah, I just came up with it. The classic streamer scam bit: stealing jokes from chat. Actually, chatters, have you ever had a joke you typed stolen by the streamer you're watching, and you got no credit for it? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. soccer. Fifty. 
Who cares eight months sub? Soccer, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, eight months. My joke is the streamer I'm watching. Okay. <laughs> you, you surely mean another streamer, not it's GNG. I'm a very serious guy, and I expect to be treated with respect and dignity. Okay, we're good here. We should all tell him really bad jokes and gaslight him into thinking it's funny. <laughs> That's sick. That is twisted. <laughs> So as chat as a collective then would have to like get on the same page and mold their streamer into having like an an unrelatable or strange presence. That is hilarious. Oh man, that is so funny. Oh, this is bad. Morning rush is so bad. Is it the worst of all the rushes? It, it's just so hard. It's, I, I, I think dinner rush is definitely worse because then you have a lineup of outside when the, when it's night cycle, but morning rush is pretty yikes. Already have pumpkin go for soup. It's not about the items. It's more about the space. Oh, I think it is morning rush guys. Holy, this is a big, big, scary day. Overtime day 40. You can't fit another soup even with the pork squeeze. I don't have the space. Drop research. Large Mike is so quick to drop research. All right, there's an ad playing right now. So let me wait 20 seconds until the people come back. And then we'll take our pick, okay? Jeez. Let's run a prediction though while we're here. Does GNG... No, no, we'll do a, uh, we'll do a dice. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, good luck. A big dice. You're not really doing research right now anyways. That's true, but I still need the storage. I can't throw away the cabinets as they're holding items that help me pivot. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. How many cards do I have right now? Uh, take, I don't know. I guess we can count it. All right. Those who are joining in, we're going morning rush. We have to. We have to. Currently, our cards are sitting with pork service affordable. There's all our cards. Hold on. Boom. Done. Now we have another nine groups. Holy shit. That's a lot. The other choice, it was, uh, we had morning rush or pumpkin soup. So we took another nine groups out of nowhere. Uh oh. Run it. Good luck, everyone. Exclamation mark visit. And we have not only Morning Rush, we also have um, Double Helpings. Double Helping me. That is going to be rough. So the key here is serve as fast as possible early on. So that we can just fly and go towards the next... But my slow is my applesauce right now. My applesauce is so slow. Miller! Miller, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miller. I appreciate it, dude. This serve is now dedicated to you. I'm going to give you the best pork you've ever seen. Respectfully. Let me serve a few more. Boom, done. 
what's the last one what am i missing here a pa promise oh i pinky promise that's my streamer <laughs> all right plus two that was good Uh, this is your streamer uh i'm not gonna click that imager link i feel like there's never been an imager link on stream that was a good thing there's like a, two possibilities usually it's oh my god Oh my gosh. Jay, dude. Wait, I think I just lost. No! Raiders, welcome in. This is very, very scary. Raiders, this is kind of embarrassing. I'll have you know, I never do this. Chat, you guys can attest to this, right? You guys can uh, assure them that I probably accidentally, like once, probably once a month, maybe have to resort to uh, safe scumming. But this is really bad. And I can't take p pumpkin soup. Okay, okay. I need your, I need your help, guys. Sweats, I'm so glad you're here. Game crashed. All right. <laughs> Wait, what is is it never? I'm I'm in a bad situation. I get one a day. It's fine. Raiders, welcome in, welcome in. Um, for those who don't know who I am, my name is Gavin. I go by it's JNG here on Twitch. We play a lot of played up, and now we've had to take morning rush, and this is our current setup. The other option was taking pumpkin soup as a starter, but there was no way I could fit pumpkin soup. We went from 12 groups to 12 plus nine. Now what? Is it Dej? Does anyone see a way out here? If there's no way out, do I have something in store for you? No! <laughs> Serve faster. Okay, let's try it again. Let's just go for it call earlier does that reduce the rush no no <laughs> run it all right guys we're gonna try ot day four we just took on um we just took on morning rush this is our first time trying it surely youtube probably doesn't have to know the whole story right <sighs> start the day jay enjoy relax lurk Hang out. Thank you so much for sending your community here. Welcome in the Fletchlings. I hope that's what he calls you guys. And then after the plate up though, do I have something in store for all of you guys? He calls you dinguses? That's messed up. <laughs> But he means dingus is like, you know, in the nice way, right? <laughs> he calls you a fat bastard. You know what? I'm not gonna yuck your yum. I can't even, I can't even serve these guys. But he does it in like uh, his 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 accent, his uh, beautiful beautiful accent. <laughs> so it sounds like so prestigious. It's like a compliment. Wow, Jay called me a dingus. Woohoo! Holy smokes! go faster than this chat i i can't there's no faster plus these people are all ordering applesauce
I'm going as fast as my legs can carry me, man. My God. Come on. Get out! Holy, that was a little bit of pro gaming moves there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Is it going to be enough to save me? Does, this, does the man miss? Does the man miss? That's the question. You know what? Sometimes I do. Maybe I don't. No, 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 no. I think I think this is not missing though. I think this is more like. Oh! Ot forty, not a personal best, but a wonderful run regardless. Holy moly. That was hard. That was really, really hard.